Emirates Team New Zealand as we know it today actually started right back in 1987 as uh, the New Zealand Challenge with Plastic Fantastic, KZ7 in Perth, when it all really got going. There was the Big Boat Challenge of uh, 1988, but Toyota's 21-year tradition and, and support of this team started in 92 in San Diego uh, with this boat, NZL20. Now this boat was uh, quite different than all the other boats and it was the start of the new rule that had come out of Perth. And what was unique about this boat is it had this, this twin keel idea, no rudder, but the, the keels moved. It was a Bruce Farr design and it went down 5-2 in the Louis Vuitton final against Il Moro. There was a huge amount of controversy. Team New Zealand hadn't really got itself in this mode of being attacked and survived attacks. That Il Moro attacked Team New Zealand with this bowsprit and the operation of the bowsprit and they got rattled and they couldn't quite hold it together. But it all changed. It all changed in 1995, as we remember. Uh, NZL32 swept all before it. Now, yes, the competition at that stage wasn't that strong, but this was an enormously strong team. Very fast boat. Uh, Peter Blake was very much in charge now. Four million Kiwis very much behind it. The Red Sox, and they swept all before them. They lost one race uh, all the way through and uh, cleaned up in the America's Cup. This solidified it and this is what we live on to a point to this day. So Toyota again into their third campaign with Team New Zealand and the defence in 2000. Amazing event here in New Zealand. Kiwis behind us, thousands of boats on the water. The viaduct had developed as a direct result. NZL 60, no one really had any expectation or expected to win but we didn't know how fast it was. Prada went into the America's Cup up against NZL 60 and got absolutely wiped out again into 2003, but the end of the innocence came at that time. The billionaires entered the sport. Peter Blake was gone. Russell Coots, Brad Butterworth and friends decided that the money was more important than the passion and the pride of the country, and they abandoned Team New Zealand. And then the wheels fell off. This boat did not perform. Lots and lots of reasons. They're well documented, they're well publicised, but they lost to that famous seafaring nation of Switzerland uh, in 2003 and broke a nation's heart. And then into, into Valencia in 2007, a rebuilt team, a revitalised team, a great expectation that we could put Humpty Dumpty back together again. NZL 92 came 5-2 to Alinghi in the final, not quite there, one second in the last race. But that was the end of these boats, these version of boats, these monohulls. The game's changed this time. Now we're into catamarans. AC 72, 72 foot, AC being America's Cup and it's exciting, it's big, it's enormously fast, high technology and a, certainly a big challenge for us.